Stalls are a very important thing to understand. They have the potential to really ruin your day, but they also aren't as scary as they sound. Most stalls can be recovered from fairly easily and safely. I personally think that intentional stall recovery is quite fun, but you know, that's just me. So we're going to cover what a stall is, then go into recovery and warning signs. What stalling really means is that you lose lift. This occurs when the wing's angle of attack is past the air's ability to flow over the wing smoothly. That point is known as the critical angle of attack, and it's usually about 18 degrees, although it does vary slightly from plane to plane. Now, a stall can occur at any attitude or airspeed. For example, let's say you point the nose down and descend at 100 knots. You pull up the airplane aggressively and pass that critical angle of attack. The air passing over the wing now faces that same issue. It can't pass over the wing smoothly. It separates from the wing and, oops, you lose lift. There are five major signs of stalling the wings. The first is buffeting, which is felt in the cockpit and controls as vibration. As the air starts to separate from the top of the wing, it starts cavitating and making a mess of itself. The second is loss of responsiveness in the controls. As your wing stops flying, the ailerons lose the ability to use the air as well. Third is when the airspeed indicator is close to the beginning of that white and green arc. Fourth is the distinct difference in sound inside the aircraft. When the air hits you at a higher angle of attack, the sound is distinctively different. Fifth is the audible warning devices. Most modern airplanes have these, and they are designed to make a distinct sound a few knots before a stalling speed. Now, they are hard to check in pre-flight, so if there is something wrong with them, you may not know it until you need them. So use all the warning signs. Never rely on one. 